Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, I do want to let you guys know that the way I'm uploading the videos is the videos that have the most views or the most comments are the first videos to come up on my YouTube. Um, I'm going to be doing this for quite a while. So try the best you can to support your sign by commenting, sharing and liking the videos. If you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. Anything to do with candle magic, spellcraft, or witchcraft, again, uh, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my email on there. So uh, I also want to give a big shout out to the people that have came to me for private consultations. I want to thank you guys very much for entrusting in me. Um, thank you guys for the support as well. And for those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome abroad. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Um, also, I want to give a big shout out to Diane Morosco. She's an amazing woman, an amazing author, and she's one of my personal clients um, that trust me. And I just grown to love this woman. She's an amazing, inspiring, inspirational woman. I highly encourage you guys to check out her books on Amazon. Her name is Diane Morosco. She sent me this coffee mug that says Bruja in Spanish, which in English represents witch. I love it. Thank you, sweetheart. So let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Gemini's for the month of November 2017. Spirit, what are the messages for Gemini's for the month of November 2017? I had already initially been shuffling the cards before I started recording, but just so you guys can see, I do live, live shuffle, so... Let's get into this. Let's see what Spirit has for Gemini's for the month of November 2017. Let's get to it. All right. Okay. General energies for the month of November. Wow. Gemini's, you guys have the Magician card as your general energy. So the Magician card as a general energy represents having all the tools, having all the uh possibilities, opportunities at your disposal to be able to manifest that which you're wanting or desiring the most. Okay. Uh, it could also represent, uh, it could also represent you wanting to manifest something or working towards manifesting a goal, um, some type of goal, something that has been going on for quite a while. Now you do have a lot of major arcanas here. Um, Gemini's, uh, so what this represents is, again, there is a lot of major transformations for you guys coming for November and December, as I, I do see December here as well. Okay, so again, like I said, the Magician card speaks all about the esoteric, uh, being able to manipulate the energies uh, to manifest that what you want. Also, you guys be careful when it comes to dealing with the person that may be very understandable and knowledgeable of the esoteric um, because they can bring blockages to you as well, Gemini, okay? So let's get into this reading. The reason I just said that is because when I see the magician and the devil in a reading, uh, that's definitely talking to me about witchcraft. So just so you guys know, and then you got five of swords here. So let's get into the reading. So your first two cards is um, the, the Knight of Cups and the the Knight of Cups and uh, the King of Wands. So there's a message coming through for you guys for the month of November. This is in regards to business and finances. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the fire sign. Fire sign would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Uh, and this message, again, like I said, has to do with business or finances. Um, and this, this has been, you have the Nine of Wands here. So this is talking to me about money hasn't been that good for you or that great um, lately. And this message that's coming through is finally going to be able to move forward and help you in bringing that abundance or that um, uh, prosperity coming your way. Now you do have the Knight of Pentacles here with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is your energy, Gemini. This is a, doesn't have to be a female, could be you could be, you know, you may be watching this and you're a female or a male. Uh, usually queens don't represent just uh, females. It represents the energy or um, the characteristics of that of the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords, you're taking on these, this energy, Gemini, for the month of November as being very cutthroat and very to the point. Also, when I see the Queen of Swords here in, a re in any reading, the Queen of Swords is 
here to tell us that it's time for us to see things for what they really are and cut through what no longer serves us or cut through the bullshit. If in regards to business and finances, you've been dealing with a fire sign and this fire sign has been bringing about too many excuses in regards to why it's not moving forward, in regards to um, why business is not going so good or whatever it may be, you have to see through that, okay? You have to understand try the best you can to analyze why they're not putting effort, why they're not trying to help you out, why they're not cooperating or why they're not working as a group, okay? You'll come to the understanding that perhaps they have ulterior motives and that's the reason why they're kind of self-sabotaging you. So again, be very careful with that. You do have the Eight of Wands here and the Eight of Wands talks about quick communication coming back and forth. You have the devil card here. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn or you may communicate to a Capricorn asking them for advancement or growth as the devil card does symbolize a person that is that of a Capricorn sign. Uh, doesn't have to be a Capricorn. Again, like I said, it could just be the attributes of the devil. So the devil card is definitely a representation of the esoteric, but it also speaks about a person that is uh, very good at manifesting or a person that's very good at materializing that, which is stability. Uh, and I feel that this person coming through is definitely going to assist you in regards to this chaotic type of energy or be able to give you clarity in regards to this energy. Now, the Five of Swords is right under you. So the Five of Swords is definitely having arguments just for the fuck of it, pretty much. Sorry, the hell of it. Um, I, I am very blunt. Sorry, so I apologize. Uh, the Five of Swords does talk about having a lot of argument, but it's arguments that really don't lead to nowhere. It's almost ego-based. Like, I'm right, you're wrong, and that's what it is. And then the other person feels the same way, and that's the reason it escalates. So try to watch that, okay? Now, you do have the Death card here. The Death card is a symbology. Again, like I said, we are uh, in Scorpio sign. So the Scorpio with Scorpio, it brings, uh, the energy of death, you know, the death, the life and death, um, in order to, in order for us to, you know, receive something new, something must die and something within us dies, which is that, that causes us experience and wisdom. So again, when it comes to finances as the eight of pentacles is here, the death card could be a a representation of for the for those of you guys that have been struggling money wise again like i said i feel that there's the ending of the struggle is near okay you have two eights here so the two eights could be uh talking about having to there is something that you've been trying to manifest or you've been trying to bring about but you continuously keep doing the same pattern or the same behavior that you've been doing and obviously, if it didn't bring you any different results in the past, it's not going to bring you new results in, in the near future. So it, you have to put the effort to be able to release yourself from people that are uh, that don't have good intentions for you or that are not good for you or that don't want you to win. Um, you have to pull yourself away from that, okay? Because the five of swords here can also represent a person that is extremely negative, a person that is always, always finding excuses of why their life is so sad and it's so miserable and the eight of pentacles is talking about you have to put your nose to the grindstone in order to make things happen you can't expect other people to do it for you gemini's and the only way to do that or the only way to release yourself from toxic people is to walk away from them okay so what do i mean by that i don't mean necessarily just tell them you know you know what i don't want to even fuck with you anymore because you're just very toxic i don't mean it in that form but <coughs> excuse me but if you are blunt as i am then <laughs> basically uh you know that's also going to serve you if you are completely honest with them but what i mean by that is start to pull away from them uh if you are you know in a gathering or if you guys are having dinner in the you know in the dining room or whatever and someone start whether it's your husband or whether it's your wife um, or whether it's your brothers and sisters that are extremely negative and they just start talking about negative shit you know what if it doesn't feel right get your plate get up and go eat somewhere else like do not do not put yourself or surround yourself in situations where you're pretty much being with a circle of negative people okay that's very important for you gemini's for the month of november now again like i said i do see the death card so there's major transformation going on for you guys in regards to business and finances you do have the queen of pentacles here so the queen of pentacles is a promise for stability 
a promise of being able to achieve that which you've been wanting to attain in regards to business and finances. It could also represent dealing with, a, again, like I said, an earth sign. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it could be a, a Capricorn indeed. But for some, it may be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn that comes in. And again, you're going to be dealing with them for the month of November. I feel like you're going to be putting effort or they're going to be putting effort in order to assist you and help you in achieving or being able to bring about uh, more structure, more stability in your life. Now, you do have the two here and the eight of swords. So the two of pentacles speaks about having to make a choice. For some of you guys, um, there may be addictions in the household. There may be drugs uh, or people may be dealing with drugs. Try the best you can to stay away from that, Geminis, okay? So what I mean by that is do not fall into the, uh, you know, the party scene. Do not fall into the, you know, let's try this, let's try that. Because I feel that this is escapism for you guys. And you guys need to be determined and focused at the present time. There's no time to be parting it up, if you know what I mean. Because the death card here is talking about there's a major transformation that's happening. And in order for you to receive the good end of it, you have to be focused and you have to put effort where effort is required, okay? You got to stop um, making excuses of why you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's very strong for this. The death card is definitely speaking to me about that. So again, like I said, you do have finances and stability coming through. But the only way to achieve that is to be able to make a choice. The two of pentacles is talking about balance, but it also is talking about in your mind, uh, having to make a choice. And that choice is going to be uh, very detrimental in regards to your success and the balance that you need in your life in order to experience abundance. Or it's going to be detrimental to feeling stuck and feeling like you can't move forward because things are not going the way you expect it. So again, I hope, you know, to you guys, I, I really feel that there is a lot of promise here as you do have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about a very quick communication. The Devil card could represent all of the mundane, but it can also represent uh, power. So again, uh, and then next to it is the Four of Wands. So again, there is promise for stability and growth, but you guys have to put the effort and stay away from anything that has to do with over drinking, doing drugs, whatever it may be. Uh, that resonates to your shadow side. Try the best you can to vibrate to a higher type of energy in order to, again, like I said, experience nothing but abundance and prosperity uh, for the coming month, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And we will see each other the middle of the month for the love readings, okay? Mm, bye.